to see how does hypertonic urine is formed. This mechanism of urine formation is called uh, concentrating mechanism which occurs in case of dehydration that is when we take less amount of water. When we take less amount of water, less water is absorbed into blood. So, concentration of solute increases in blood. It leads to increase in the osmotic pressure of blood plasma. When the osmotic pressure of blood plasma is uh, increased, uh, this mechanism starts. This mechanism is called counter current mechanism. Counter current mechanism of urine formation. By this mechanism, hypertonic urine is formed. This you can uh, see uh, is a diagram of a nephron. Nephron, uh, the basic parts of nephron, proximal convoluted tubule, PCT. This part which goes uh, into the region of medulla is the descending limb. This part reascending the region of cortex is called ascending limb. A loop is formed in between two limbs. This is called after the name of discoverer, loop of Henle. The convoluted part of ascending limb is called distal convoluted tubule which opens into a duct called collecting tubule. This another pipeline, this is uh, called vasa recta which is a uh, parallel blood vessel into, uh, into the uh, loop of Henle, parallel blood vessel around the loop of Henle. Since the two limbs runs parallel but an opposite direction. This is descending limb of loop of Henle goes below. It is this ascending limb of vasa recta goes above. Similarly, same is true with this uh, side also. That is why this mechanism is called counter current mechanism. Counter current mechanism is a mechanism in which two limbs lies parallel but flow of current is opposite. Here urine flows in this direction, blood flows in this direction, blood in this direction urine in this direction. This type of mechanism is called uh, counter current mechanism. Now, how does hypertonic urine is formed? See, maximum after after uh, ultrafiltration, maximum amount of ultrafiltrate is absorbed in PCT. After absorption, selective absorption in PCT, nephric filtrate becomes isotonic to blood plasma. Means osmotic concentration of nephric filtrate and osmotic concentration of blood becomes equal 300 300 both side so at this level urine is or nephric filtrate is uh, isotonic to blood plasma this limb of uh, loop of henle that is descending limb is permeable for water permeable for water so due to entry of water from nephric filtrate into blood it causes increase in osmotic concentration of nephric filtrate. This uh, goes 400, 500 and finally maximum uh, 1200 up to 1200. Means at this level blood uh, nephric filtrate becomes four times more concentrated than blood. This limb is permeable for salts not for water. So, osmotic concentration of nephric filtrate decreases 800, 600, 500, again up to at the level of DCT uh, it becomes 300, again isotonic. In this mechanism what, what happens which is opposite to uh, diluting mechanism, in diluting mechanism ADS secretion occurs, uh, does not occur and aldosterone secretion starts exactly opposite events occurs in uh, concentrating mechanism. In this mechanism aldosterone hormone is not secreted but ADH hormone is secreted because blood needs water. So, ADH acts on DCT on what? This is X, action of ADH. ADH due to action of ADH water starts absorbing water is absorbed water is absorbed due to absorption of water due to absorption of water again nephric filtrate becomes concentrated 500 600 maximum up to 1200 so a urine is formed whose osmotic concentration is four times more than the 
normal osmotic concentration of blood this type of urine is called hypertonic urine 